making the most of technology without being reliant on technology. Be assured, Illinois students are in good hands. Our teachers and our administrators are doing what they do best. They're stepping up to ensure that every child in this state receives the education that they deserve. Remote learning looks different in each of our communities, and that's encouraged. Personalization in education is a very good thing. Some rely on paper and pencil methods more than digital, and vice versa. Some rely on digital more than paper and pencil. Schools should be checking in with students every day. That can be done by logging on to an online system or by calling or by emailing. Those check-ins are not just about attendance. They help support our students through this difficult time. And to begin the work of preparing our classrooms for students' eventual return, I will be signing an executive order to modify licensing requirements for future educators Five who are nearly eight. finished with their studies like our student teachers, to ensure that this situation does not impact schools' ability to hire the qualified teachers that they need when students come back. There is $569 million to support our K-12 schools from the Federal CARES Act in response to COVID-19, dollars that can help equip students with technology and internet access to enhance remote learning, support teachers in developing their remote instruction skills, and assist schools in continuing to provide meals to children and communities. Public school districts will receive a portion of this funding proportional to the number number of low-income students that they serve, and ISBE will direct the remaining funds towards supporting our districts that need those resources most. My office and the Illinois State Board of Education is recommending that any grades given during this pandemic reflect the unprecedented circumstances in which students are attempting to continue their studies. That is, grades should, uh, you know, test positive. So the thing I would track, I mean, that's a, we, we look at it, but the bigger, more important number is really the number of hospitalizations and ICU beds, you know, for, for several reasons. But the most important of which is if people are sick enough to go to the hospital, that's a definite signal, you know, that someone is, you know, COVID-19 positive, likely, you know, if they have a respiratory issue. Um, and then, of course, ICU beds are, you know, a worsening of that condition. Okay, we'll go to questions from other reporters not in the room. From Tony Arnold at WBZ, have you been briefed on the clinical trials happening at the University of Chicago that seem to show promising results for treating COVID with an anti-HIV drug called remdesivir. Is this an indication that there's a treatment coming? I have not been briefed, but I read the same materials that probably Tony Arnold read uh, this morning in particular. Um, I'm following very closely a number of the trials uh, because it's very important when we talk about what does the future look like, the first really important thing that will happen while we're building up testing while we're doing contact tracing is that the uh, approval of a therapy or treatment that will diminish people's likelihood of either being hospitalized or after they're hospitalized being put in ICU or on a ventilator.